We got about 60 seconds left before this Monster Hunter div I can't speak. That's how excited I am. Digital event starts. It's a, oh, I don't even know how long this is going to be. I don't know what they're going to show off. All I know is I am hoping for a hunting horn. Give, a, give us some type of good switch skill for the hunting horn. Show it off. I'm good. I'm good. Maybe a monster. Show off some of the Shogun Scimitar a little bit. You know, a little bit of that Shogun action. Um, but yeah, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so that we can keep up to date to when I go through and play through this game. I have a whole bunch of Monster Hunter content right now on the channel. Right now, currently, I'm soloing uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. So if you want to check that out, plenty of videos to go through. Now, hopefully, without further ado, Premiere will begin shortly. Um, play my intro. Alright. What you got for me, Monster Hunter? What you got? Okay, we got the... Okay, we get, doing our little pose. Okay. I forgot your name, but you're the Luna... Uh, Lunar Garan, I think. New flagship. Alright. Take my money, Hello, Capcom. Everyone. I'm Yozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. And I'm Yoshitake Suzuki, the director on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. First, okay. let's have a look at the new trailer. New trailer? Okay. Alright, new trailer. We're starting off with the new trailer. Alright. These creatures consume life. Interesting. Those who let themselves be lured into the trap will be whisked away by a swift game, the embodiment of darkness. As they are slowly drained of their life. The darkness will show itself. Basking. Damn, Rath. Damn. On my honor as a knight, I will end you. We will prevail. I feel like I'm going to miss something. The Being cooked. What? A new form. He has a new form. Or a second phase. What is that? Is that Seregios? Wait, 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 wait! What? And then he picks you up and then fling you like a... Oh, okay, don't show that. Alright, fine. An ice subspecies? A lava sub... Alright, y'all showing a lot. Y'all showing a lot, Capcom. What are y'all doing? Switch skill swap. Oh, sh... What? Oh, so I don't see no horn action with them. With my, I saw something. But I don't know what that was. Switch skill swap. Does that mean I could like, like, let's say I don't use a certain skill, can I just take that skill off completely and put something up? I don't know. Wait. Wait. They come with us now. That's literally just 19 days after my birthday. June 11th, Hunter by the way. Rise Sunbreak is a massive expansion to Monster Hunter Rise. Like, I heard it was bigger than the it's base game size-wise. On June 30th, 2022. A new story will unfold at a new base with new locales, monsters, actions, and the addition of You the said locales. Allowing you to delve even further into the world of Monster Hunter Rise. You said locales. With an S. There's an S at the end of it. Baton to Mr. Suzuki to tell you more about the trailer. Okay, pass the baton, saw. baton pass. Pokemon, I see you. Thank you. They, they probably didn't the mean it that way. And I'll provide some extra info as we go along. Okay. Three new monsters. I already know about Seregios. Let's start with the new monsters. First off, we have Seregios, the flagship monster. Seregios. I'm sorry, I've been saying it wrong all these years. 
Zeregios is characterized by the sharp blades on its legs, which it uses to attack enemies by diving down on them from the Wait, wait, so bleed now? Wait, was bleeding a thing in Rise? Sharp scales called blade scales. Some of its attacks will cause the bleeding status on the hunter, so extreme caution okay, yeah. is advised. Bleeding wasn't a thing yet in Rise. The designers were very meticulous in how Seregio stores and unfolds its scales and horns, so we wow. can pay extra attention to that as well. What? Next, let's have a look at two new subspecies of monsters. Okay, I was like, yo, am I recording? I was about to get mad. First, we have Aurora Somnican. Ice variant. It releases a perpetual cold air to freeze things around it. And even slide around on the ice to attack hunters. Does it give you that status in uh... the normal species attack oh. with a sleep inducing powder, but this subspecies exhales a powerful ice breath? Next up, there's I was gonna say, I wonder if it gives you that status like um, Volcano, where you're stomping on the ice really slow. And when it digs into the ground, it adopts a red hue, indicating that it's in a special heated state. Or maybe I'm thinking of um, it also Frost uses the magma on its tail to attack its prey. Ugh. I already it's had trouble with regular freaking Almadron. As well as more powerful master rank versions of the monsters that appeared in Rise. For instance, Aknasom now has a backstep and somersault attack to give it even more combo. Okay, Charlie Nash. And T Rex can now combo from a bite into a spin attack. I'm still calling it Tigrex, I don't care. Still calling it Tigress. If you thought you were already used to fighting these monsters in Rise, there are quite a few surprises in store for you. Hold on, my, my guy, is, this is blazer overcoat shit. Moving on, fucking let's take a look at the flagship monster for this game, who also made an appearance in today's trailer, Malzino. Did it over here biting people on the Mal neck? Zeno is a fearsome elder dragon who has brought Fiorain's kingdom to the brink of ruin many times in the past. It commands mysterious creatures that it uses to capture monsters and absorb their energy. I already see I'm going to need it parts from the little shits. Beauty and elegance, as well as vicious cruelty when it catches its prey and consumes their life force. It fights hunters with a variety of attacks, so it's incredibly dangerous. Some of its attacks will cause the blood blight status what? as well. If a hunter succumbs to blood blight, they enter a battle of life force with Malzino, which they must overcome to survive. Is this like, it's wait. Said that if Malzino manages to absorb a hunter's life force, it evolves into an even more powerful form. It's very risky, but definitely worth seeing with your own eyes. That sounds a lot like. Malzino's design was based first and foremost on a vampire motif. The whatchamacallit, Gormagala thing. Being an elder dragon, the frenzy. We had to figure out what kind of calamity it would cause. And the designers incorporated elements of aristocracy, nobility, grandeur, and cunningness into their concept of Dang, the designers was in their duffel. Based on that art, we hammered out further details, which resulted in the current design. <sighs> the elements I just mentioned are woven into its theme music. I keep being afraid that I'm not recording. <laughs> the composer managed to turn it into a really cool song, so please give it a listen in the game. All right, time to go. I'm proud to join. Follower you. quest. Now let's talk about followers. In Sunbreak, some quests allow you to take story characters known as followers along with you to hunt together. These follower quests are single player only, so we hope you'll have fun running around the locales with your favorite characters. Hmm. Each follower has their own weapon specialization. During quests, they'll recover your health, place traps, and sometimes even ride monsters. What? Uh very useful to bring along. You'll gradually unlock more. How was there? A how are they programming that AI to do that? For the characters from Elgato, you'll be able to take Fiorain, Luchika, Jay, Admiral Gallius, and Master Arlo with you. As for Kamura, you'll be able to bring along several characters and Okay, I think I might end up having to bring Cotton with me at some point. These colorful characters are sure to make your hunts even more fun. And you can even earn exclusive rewards, so make sure you try them out. 
Now, let's move All on right. to the new player actions. Rise introduced various new gameplay elements, like the wire bug and wyvern riding. Sunbreak will expand Tommy. on these elements even further, with more features and tweaks. Let's have a look at the new switch skill swap function first. This game adds a variety of new switch skills, including new silk bind attacks. Oh, give me the info. You'll now be able to swap between different sets of switch skills on the fly using the new switch skill swap function. What? What? You can register two loadouts. In oh, I want to pause it so bad. Two sets of switch skills during your quests. This lets you combo silk bind attacks and gain their synergized effects. Swapping sets at the right moment and making the most out of every way allows more freedom and creativity in your playstyle. Oh, it's a horn. Hold on. Now let's say you need to avoid a monster attack or distance yourself from a monster while swapping skill sets. That's where the swap evade comes in. What? Swap Evade lets you quickly change your position while swapping sets. Switch Skill Swap and Swap Evade will give you a lot more freedom when moving around the battlefield. Like I'm trying to think of like... We've also added a wide variety of tweaks. For instance, you can now go into a wall run without... Yeah, we saw that in the trailers. First. And you can pick whether to ride a monster or keep attacking it when it's in a mountable state. Thank you. Thank you. There are Thank you. Thank you. The original control Thank you. New controls. There's even more new tweaks like that, but we'll tell you more about that at a later date. Because I'm thinking of like my hunting horn, like how for the intro video. Find attacks and switch skills for all 14 weapons according to the schedule. Excuse me. Y'all spoiling us now. Oh, like, can we talk about how clean that armor looks and the sword? Are going to change the action in Sunbreak. I didn't see this, but if you're new, whoa! What was that? Short clips for Sunbreak that'll teach you some new useful. What was that? For your hunts. Also, I didn't mention this at the beginning, and I probably should have. Um, in this game, I'm maining the hunting horn. Sure Secondary weapon is the longsword. So Normally, I always just use longsword. And hunting one reverse. That's all we have to share regarding the new gameplay. What? That was a new slash. Hope you enjoyed it. Cause like I'm thinking like you could do that KO move with the hunting now, horn a, a lot sooner that nobody uses. Monster Hunter and then switch Star back Rain. to the super pound. If you already own the physical version or the digital version of what? Monster Hunter Rise and you just want to buy Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. All you'll need is the digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I still haven't pre-ordered this, by the way. the digital version, we are also offering the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Deluxe Edition, which includes add-on content. That looks like the armor that the Caravaner dude from 4 Ultimate wears, but I could be wrong. Plus Sunbreak set, including both the main game and the expansion. For players who want to start Monster Hunter Rise from the beginning. That's I'm I'm still blown away with the switch skill stuff. I All of these include special purchase bonuses. So grab them while you can. Loyal dog and striped. The exclusive cat costume. bonuses are layered armor for your Palico and Palamute. I'm I'm so back at the, the switch so skill thing. I need my brain out. to catch back up because I'm we will also be releasing three new amiibo for Monster Hunter. Okay, that, um, the Palico looks kind of clean. I definitely want that armor for the Palico. Each of these amiibo unlocks a special layered armor. Okay, freaking magician. We've also got some news about peripherals. I still want that. A Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak edition of the Nintendo Switch I really want controller that. will be made available. Am I gonna get it? Probably not, but I <laughs> but I really want it. This is a special version of the Nintendo Switch Pro controller with a Malzino design on the front. All of this product information is also available on the official website. The digital version of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is now available for pre -order. AKA, that means we hope you check it out. We ain't gonna tell you how much it costs. You can go look that up for yourself. If you have data of <laughs> By then, this live stream gonna be already done. <laughs> 
you'll be able to unlock the Nabiru costume layered armor for your Palico in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Maybe as a troll qu Oh god, fucking eggs. Hunter layered armor and the Takino costume that are unlockable in Monster Hunter Rise. Okay, maybe... Mm, Alright, mm, yeah, you might be getting me. You might be winning me over a little bit. That's all of the news for now. This one is about, about 15 minutes. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2022. I've also played through Monster Hunter Stories 2 as well, if you're new to this channel. We will also be releasing several free title updates after that. Thank you. That. Thank you. We'll have more to share with you on the free updates and other new info around June. So I thought this was going to be the last one. I just, Thank you for tuning in to I just don't want y'all, just don't show too much. Because y'all, y'all, y'all show a lot. Right? I don't want this to be like, a, like how movies are where they show you just the whole movie. Like keep some of these monsters like on lock and don't say nothing about them. Let them. You are big, oh, Sreggia. I'm still calling them Sreggia. Fuck that. You are huge, my guy. Like, why? Was he always big? Like, I, I don't know. It's been a little bit since I. Oh my god, I saw that Sreggia's armor. And that was a. Was that a Valor counter for the longsword? And I can't tell what the what the song was for, um. What the thing was for the hunting horn, but it looked like a random, like he was standing in place and did like a tune. But, um, what? I. <laughs> Seregios, two subspecies. New switch skills and switch swap? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, this, this gave me everything that I wanted and then some. Um,. I'm gonna hit the pause button. I'm gonna see what the I'm gonna see what the chat what was the chat saying if they're even still here because it's probably over by now. But um, yeah, it's 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 done or not. No demo though. Bye. <laughs> no, don't keep going. Man, that was actually pretty clean. That was actually pretty clean. Um, let me know what you thought of about the boss of hunter. Uh, digital event that we just got um i feel like we're probably going to get a demo in june when they release the new info but um y'all let me know oh look at that it's it's a it's it's a it's a uno video but anyway thank you for watching hopefully y'all enjoyed it let me know what you liked about it in the comments and what you are excited for i'm gonna hurry up and edit this out and ship this thing out like hotcakes. drink your water and i'll see y'all in the next video